Hi guys, it's me Karen, and we've come back to do the last part of the page we're doing in the Forest Kingdom from Hannah Carlson. And we are doing the little owl here. Now we have the stars to do, and I did one down here, so I'm going to show you how I did it. Um, we had inked over some, so I just took a eraser and kind of erased out some of the ink here not all going to come out because, you know, it's ink. So I went in and I got the um, Holbein, Holbein Artist Colored Pencil number 501, which is the soft white pencil. And I just went in and colored over the black lines, brought the color down, Kind of that straight line going down here, going up here. Then you take a crisscross, makes it a little easier to color it that way to me. Crisscross here, and then a crisscross around the side. And we're going to pull that that way and that way. Then we're going to take <coughs> whatever color is around that. I have certain ones pulled out to match the um, the orange, the brownish green, the brown, <laughs> the yellow, <laughs> whatever color I need. Um, I didn't get the black because I don't think I have too much black there, but I do have a darker brown color. So whatever color we have that is around here, I'm going to go in with. So I'm going to take the um, burnt umber here. Let me get you down a little closer so you can see what I'm doing. Sorry about that. So we're going to go on this line and kind of bring that color out. and kind of blend it. So up, down, and out. If you want to get rid of that black light completely, just kind of pull that pencil out over that line and the other line. It will cover. I wanted some of it though. But I don't want that middle star part. Okay, so we're going to take a little orange here and make our star just a tiny bit brighter right in this area. here because I want to get that a straighter line here. We can erase some of that, I think. There we go. Darken it right into the candle here. Then we're also going to bring some of that right across the candle top. Maybe a little of that color down in here too. Alright. I don't want a stiff line up here, so we're going to blend that out as much as we can. Okay. 
And then once again, we're going to take the sharpest point of this pencil, pull some of that down, and pull some of that up. Make sure our center is nicely lit. And then on these little dots, we're just going to color them in and then add a few more out there. If you want, you can do this with a Posca if you don't have this pencil. I just thought I'd use it because I have it and I thought it would be fun. Okay, and if you don't like the way your little circles come out, take some of it off and make a little rounder. <laughs> if you don't like where you put them, take them out. Ink over them. You know, it's, it's easy, so you can just play with it that way. But that's how we're going to go around and do all those little stars. So even the ones up here, I'll do one, um, I'll do this one up here. We're going to put the white in over that, crisscross it. And then go this way. Cover up the black lines if you want to. Circle there, a little circle up here. Okay, then on this one, because we're in the yellow section, we're going to use the light chrome yellow. Just pull that out. we get that in the middle. If you want to make sure that those edges are completely white, I'm going to use Posca on that one. It's easier to cover up those when you're in the dark than when you're up here in the light. So we'll just take a little of the Posca. You'll have to let it dry if you want to go back in with the um, yellow one. Okay, and then the uh, little dots. Before we get too crazy about that, we're also going to go around the moon with the yellow and bring in some of that color. Because it could get a little light there, I thought. We missed a little here, so we're going to bring it in.
darkened around his feathers. You can actually go out of this line. You do not need to stay in it and get some of that lightness going out. Okay, we're going to do the same on the other side. So I want the bottom of the moon. Like here, you can't even tell where it is. So we are going to just brighten that up with the yellow. And add it in here and bring that color up. I'm just using a light pencil. Over here where the orange it got a little just use it very lightly and blend that out. So you can get a little more orange in that way, a little more yellow, all depending on what you want to do. Hopefully that is dry enough. Let's sharpen that. Okay, we have the chromia, a light chrome yellow again. We're just going to go in there, darken up those areas. If I uncover the black, well, that's the way it goes. <laughs> you can just go back in and cover it back up again. You can also bring in a little orange if you want. Just around the edges. If we want to darken that up, didn't look quite round to me. And just pull out the orange here. So you can fix up any of your little mistakes, boo boos, unfinished pieces. If you think it needs to be changed, go for it. That's what final touches are for. Okay. Line that back in with the yellow. We'll do this one here. go on the side of these. Bring that one up a little higher, that one down a little lower. I gotta turn the book. <laughs> there we go. Okay. 
Okay. There we go. All right, so the rest of those will get done that way. We're going to work on his gems here. Uh, there are some gems, and we're going to do them blue to bring some of that blue bow down here. So we're going to start off with the light cobalt turquoise. And put that in these. We've got a few here, so we're just going to go in all of them. I don't know. Just thinking about putting some blue in that, too. But I kind of like them the color that they are. So we're going to next use the um, Hilo Blue Reddish. Down here on the bottom, a little up here, and a little over here. Leaving the light blue in the center. So that side and that side. Probably just one side on the bottom on these guys. They're so tiny. Okay, and then we have the um, <laughs> dark blue indigo. Okay, we're going to go all the way around and make sure that our bevel area here is really dark. And just bring some in. We're going to bring in, oh, why not, some of this uh, white. We've got it out. We might as well use it. Just put in a highlight on those. Okay. Now on our little beads that are going up, we're going to have to put a bit of a dark on the side. So I'm just going in with a Van Dyke Brown. We had these colored once, but we had to erase them because I inked in them. So there we go. Throw a little of that up here in his monocle too. Okay, then we'll grab a little bit of green gold, go on one side, all the way up, make sure he has some of that in here too, I'm sure he does, <laughs> and then um, we'll take some of this dark cadmium yellow and put it on on the side for highlights. Just a little bit. And there we go. We'll do the same three colors on all of this work down here. So we'll start off with the Van Dyke Brown outer edge and bottom portion on everything that's around. These little guys are <laughs> tiny. You can put a little blue stone in that one too. There we go. Okay, next color is the um, green. And then the yellow. To darken 
this little guy up here. Just going back over it to make sure we got our shadows showing. What else do I need to do other than those? Kind of looks like that's it. We'll make sure this one gets done. I mean, I'm going to do them all, but I don't need to do them all on camera so I can finish this one. I'm going to turn it. Because this one is in the vest, we're going to darken around it with the colors that are in the vest. So I'm going to go in with some burnt carmine. We'll bring in some of that orange that we've put on all of the stars. So we might as well have this one bright. Okay. And then the little dude out here. So we'll finish up those little dudes. I'm going to put a little of this in the uh, top of the candles up here too just to make them lighter. And maybe down in their little drip spots. Okay. that up a little. Do, 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 do. The only other thing I want to do is I want to get rid of these little black lines that are um, the outside of the feathers here. So that I'm going to use the Posco. And I'm just going to go on all of these. and pull them in. Okay, so I'm going to do that all the way around the edges, even on his feathers up here. Okay. 
We're going to go over this with pencil so it's not just pure white up here. Move my book around here a little bit so we can get up to the top. See what I'm doing up here, but you get the gist, right? I'm just gonna go over all of these. That aren't colored really dark. Once we get up to the tip, we'll leave those. We're gonna color over the rest of this with a little pencil, so we're gonna put a different color on those. These covered up too. Sorry if you hear the lawnmower, someone decided to mow the lawn. <laughs> okay, we came up, so we go over here. and then go down on this side. two guys down here. Okay. We're going to get a little of this wing on this side. And we're going to do these on this side. Okay, I'm thinking we'll do just a little bit here and on just one side of these guys. Okay, like I said, we're going to go over all that with pencil. If you want to make sure that none of that shows up in there, you can go over that. And just brighten up the centers a little bit. We'll get to that a little later. i got to wait for this to dry, and then we'll be right back. Okay, we're going to use a couple of pencils here to get this effect here. So we've um, whitened these and we're going to go over it with the raw umber over the white down here. Okay, kind of darken up the um, area that the uh, little bit of white is covering up here. Then we're going to take the Prisma, or not the Prisma, <laughs> the Holbein Soft White, and we're going to take it and bring it right up into the brown we just put down. Go 
it will help cover up those little lines there too. We're giving him a little soft glow on the outside of his feathers here. Okay, bring it on up and then we can go back in if it's too light and just add in a little bit of that brown again. Okay, do that up here. Just going to put the white in first, cover up those lines, bring in the darker brown. And it softens it up. Okay. Do that on this side over here too. We're going to soften up these lines over here. And on these we can just cover them up. They'll still show up lighter but they'll have the brown effect on top of them. Up to a certain point, okay? And up here, we want to get a little of that brown in there. And then we'll pull in the white. Soften him up around the edges. Sorry, thumping going on. Go back in with the brown just to soften up those edges a little bit. Same thing up here.
an extra one in there for fluff. <laughs> just play with it until we get it the way we want it to look. Throw a little beige in there if you want. Uh, this is Holbein beige. over those edges. Okay, up on the top of the head. Sorry, but it's going to be upside down and everything's falling on my desk. But the book has to turn, so... Such is life, right? Okay, go over those with the white, pull it down. Okay, go in with the brown. Same on the other side. Go in with the brown. Let's see what I knocked over on my desk. Make sure nothing is spilling. Uh, okay, bring in the brown. my fluffy head. <laughs> okay, turn the book a little this way and we'll get down the side here. I don't even think I went over this with the Posca, so... Alright, and then the brown. Where did I put it? Oh boy. <laughs>
and they get their hair going down that way. going to bring in some of the white up in here like we did on the other side and I'm definitely going to bring it up here you can't really see it underneath the lens there but we do want to get a little whiter Darken that. Darken it just above the eye here. Right above the beak. He's got a little bit more brown coming out one side than he does the other side. So right across here, we're going to actually add just a block of brown. You can't see anything under his bow. Put a little bit up in here where we had his feathers. Just kind of put it in lightly and then rub it in so you get the look of his feathers again. And I'm just going to lightly bring it up and fluff out some stuff here and there. any in here we can add some okay in here we're going to do the same thing on the jacket we're going to pull some of this in here we want to get rid of those lines that we had And just fluff in some of those feathers. Go back over them with the brown. Just very lightly. There go. And I'm going to do the same thing on these wings. I'm going to pull some of that up. on the ends of these. And then down on his tail here. We're going to do the same thing here. Okay. Gonna darken that up with a little bit of the brown. By darkening it, I just mean knocking it back a little bit by adding some brown into it. I want these a little white, so I'm going to leave those alone. That one may have gotten just a bit out of hand. Bring some of that brown down in here.
bring a little darker brown up there. So this is walnut brown, which is going to go on the outside of these white lines that I put in here. Give them a little bit of a shadow. There is one there. Same thing with some of these. We're just going to darken up a line that comes out. I know we took away the black lines, but we're going to add in a brown line. <laughs> in that area a little bit. Okay, this is all, you know, like little details. You don't have to do all this. I just end up playing with my pages a lot. I'm going to actually add another line up here for a wing that doesn't exist. Just because I want it to look like it does. <laughs> okay, we're going to darken our little toenails here. feathers. Pull in one or two dark lines in there. There's a few more of those feathery looking things and fluff them up a bit. It's a little separation between those would be nice. Boom. Maybe a few more of those over here. is finish up those stars and put in the little dots and we will be done and I will show you the end picture of what it looks like. Thanks guys for watching. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed. I really appreciate you guys staying around for these long videos and I hope you have a wonderful day. If you have any questions leave them in the uh, comment sen section below and I will get to them as soon as I can. So, so far um, that is what we have. I'll finish up these um, stars, put a few more little dots in, and like I said, leave a picture at the end of the video. Thanks guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care everyone. Bye now.